everyone. This is week two of my Halloween series 2024. Today I'll be making skull cherry pies. What all goes into the skull cherry pies? Refrigerated pie crusts and you want it to set out for a little bit so it's easy to work with. 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling and a skull pan. I'll leave the link to this down in the description box below. The ingredients makes four skulls. I have a six skull pan, so I'll be using another pie crust and I'll be using a little bit more cherry pie filling, but I'll leave the original recipe down below. So let's begin. Preheat the oven to 450. So the recipe does not call for oiling the pan. It is a nonstick pan, but I am going to oil it just lightly. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe it down because it doesn't have to be very, very covered, just slightly so the pie crust will not stick into the face. That's the main thing. Try to get the crevices done. We want it to have the facial definitions and stick the pan aside. Take a flat surface. I have a cutting board here. I put a little bit of flour on it and I floured my rolling pin. Take your pie crust and lay it out. Now they want you to roll this out so you can cut it into fourths. Like I said, this is only going to make four of them. I'm going to try to make it more rectangle just for the fact that it might be easier to cut into fourths that way. Well, it's not much of a rectangle, but I think I'll be able to get fourths pretty easily that way. I'm going to eyeball and see. And if you need to stretch it out some more when you're putting it in the pan, that's fine. I'll set my other pie crust aside for just a minute. All right, so you want to kind of make it into a rectangle. Put it into your crevice here. You want some overlap because you want to be able to fold it down to make the little pie. And be careful not to tear your pie crust I just did. Just kind of catch it up if you do that. And then I'm going to show you what you need to do so I can make room for the other ones. Take a half a cup of your cherry pie filling, put it in the little crevice there. Looks like it's going to be pretty full there. And then just fold it up. He's going to he's going to leak and we want him to fill the whole cavity. They say push it down. So I'm going to push him down. So he fits. I'm going to try to do better with the other ones. I'm going to fold him in that way, fold him in that way and that way and push him down to fill up the whole cavity. They are going to leak because he's supposed to be like a bloody skeleton. I just don't know if he's supposed to leak this much or not. Okay, I'll finish these up and I'll be back. Put your skull cherry pies in a preheated 450 degree oven for 25 minutes, but check at 15. So here are the skull cherry pies. They turned out a lot better than I thought they would. I did cook them for 20 minutes. If you want to, you can decorate them with little eyes. I think I might like stick it with a little bit of cherry so it will stick. I kind of like them with the eyes. Maybe I'll do three with eyes and three without eyes. I've always been a fan of the candy eyeballs. I think they're so cool. 
What do you think? Do you like them better with or without the eyeballs? I absolutely love how they turned out. Yeah, they're not perfect, but you know, they are skulls. Skulls break, skulls deteriorate. So I think they're perfect. And of course, the cherry filling will represent the blood. I'm going to set these in an airtight container. And then when Dave gets home, he can do a taste test. So here is the skull cherry pie. Let's see what Dave thinks. This is looking at me. That is a skull cherry pie. Well, it's a mouthless skull cherry pie. And he's bleeding. Yeah. And it tastes like a cherry pie. That'd be a fun one. And it tastes good. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.